Okay. So. Trying to remember what happened last time. Last time out. Um, as you all, you know, finished up your doohickeys. <laughs> grabbing some stuff all around town. Some of you going towards uh, potions. Um, others just kind of hanging about near the house to recuperate. Um, well, the few of you decided to come up with a plan within the Lush Loot Inn. As all of that was happening, you were visited by a man, Fourth Wind, Farlight, the innkeeper, only to find out soon after that he was not indeed Fourth Wind, but perhaps another person trying to help you in your cause, telling you about the new sewers, or rather, the old sewers, and everything that lies beneath, as well as handing you what looks to be this liquid that could hide your fingerprints and whatnot. With that in hand, you all started making a plan for the next day after, which is today. Soon as this whole bonanza starts, from the outside, you could hear merry goings, carriages of all sorts coming in the city. From where you are currently, whole loads of people have started making their way into the inns to, well, get their uh, get themselves rooms. And soon after, you would hear Fourth Wind from the outside. His voice is kind of ringing out. Uh, excuse me, if you're going to be done with uh, your room, there are a few here that will be needing. Hmm. Wait, I'm inside the room, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, all of you are inside the room <clears throat> right now. Well, some of you have different rooms, like, um, I believe Lou is the only one with a different room. <clears throat> Alright, uh, then. I guess I wake everybody up. Unless uh, they're already awake. Actually, you know what? Uh, everyone roll me a constitution saving throw yeah, to see who goes mean. first to wake up. I roll it. Con save, con save. I'll just accept the being last. But that's I'm not good. Concede, I concede. do not see that. Oh, I was in self roll. Right. There you go. Oh, damn. 18 from the Barbarian. God damn. Feral? I'll just be last. <laughs> I'm, sure. I'm like doing extra macro stuff. Uh, Learning stuff for the first Brod, time. Brod and Aras, the two of you are the first to wake. Soon as you heard that um, knocking by the door, your eyes quickly uh, jolt open. And you find yourself in this incredibly small room for at least the few of you that are in here. And it it has been an uncomfortable sleep. Uh. I, I guess I uh, go up and open the door. You open yes. the door and uh, on the other side, um, fourth wind is there just kind of holding up what looks to be the uh, the early morning food for you uh, as he just kind of beckons for most of you to come through um, excuse me here's your food for the day uh, there are tables and chairs downstairs if you want to eat there or you can eat in this room but um, for the sake of it all uh, allow me to tell you that there are a few people that are coming through and wanting some rooms and since you and your group has had their nice night um, if you are to extend your stay here you may do so or after you eat you may leave I then I okay then I shall wake everyone up then Brad goes but I can't talk to I'll just <laughs> assume uh is this Lou is preparing my stuff. Yeah, Lou is in the other kind of room Ooh. and it's completely locked. 
Yes, then I'll ask Clay. I wake up Clay. I slap Clay while he's sleeping. Clay! Clay! <laughs> Just shouts in his ear. You ain't from me. You ain't getting none from me. I ain't gonna talk. Wait, what? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm up, I'm up. Uh, Brad want to ask where we actually go. Do we extend our stay? Uh, nah, this is the nice. This is the last night we stay in here. Uh, I don't think we should be here for much longer. We don't want to jeopardize uh, Mr. Farlight's uh, business, you know. So. Okay. Oh, what about your roommate? And I point at the, uh, the rat. Mr. Beside. Low. I see. I see a rat beside him. What about him? Wait. Oh, you wait. There's like a literal rat. There's there? a literal, literal rat beside you. <laughs> yeah, there's an actual rat, massive rat, like one of the oh, rats shit, you see in the rat. Oh, oh shit! Start dancing. No. <laughs> rat uh, <John>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, for real, for real. Uh, okay, how uh, about Lou? We. Hey, what do we do? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna talk to Farlight. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get the food ready. You can you can wake up, Mister Lou. How about that? Okay. Then I okay, go to okay. his room. I knock the door. I hear no response. <laughs> <laughs> you knock the door, yes. and then you see you see on the door AFK. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in Rust. It's like in Rust, just sitting on the chair doing nothing. <laughs> oh, you see, uh, like a sign in Minecraft BRB. <laughs> He put like a dirt uh, cage around himself so, no one, so no zombies can touch him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright then. I'll just go down then. And get some food. And that's my. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I go down too. And then I just ask Mr. Farlight for your, just, you know, the usual breakfast. Alright. Um, I will yeah. be mm-hmm. preparing my stuff. I guess. I'll order breakfast for everybody too. Yeah. What exactly, um, you know, are the stuff you're going to prepare? Just probably my arrows and I to put in my quiver. Just preparing stuff, I guess. My usual routine. <laughs> Not to do that. Then once I'm done with that, I'll go down. Oh, uh, sure. And, um, yeah. You kind of start preparing all your usual gear. You head down with the rest of the group and you see them all kind of huddled around this small table. There's a whole load of people here aside from you now. Some wearing different kind of gear, different armor. Uh, You see some from the western side of the continent, elves mostly, um, wearing this kind of high, high elf, kind of very royal, golden gilded cloth. Um, a few of them are wearing this very bright, almost neon like um, neon colors all over the place, uh, from their bangles to their wristbands, all that. Um, lots of different cultures now, all in one room. And as you sit yeah, down, can... you know, all of you begin to eat. Um, what do you guys do? Um, I'll turn to Mr. Farlight first. I guess I, am I at the counter or am I like at a table? You're, yeah, you're with the rest of the group. You're in a small table. The counter is just towards like the northern section of the room, uh, and he's currently not there. He seems as though probably he was stayed upstairs. You saw him; he's passed by. Oh, I need to find him though. Hmm. Do I wait for him, or I guess I'll just wait for him for a bit. All right. Um, what are the rest of you doing? I would eat. <laughs> Yeah, and oh. uh, you're reaching out your food, oh. you grab it, you eat it. Uh, it's just what looks like some stew from regular game, probably some venison of some kind. Ooh. I guess I'll ask uh, our, uh, Clay. Like, uh... Uh, Clay, who are you looking for? I'm looking for Mr. Farmer. I got a couple of questions to ask him before we, uh, before we do uh, you know, the thing. What thing? Ah, you know the thing, you know. <laughs> okay. you, <laughs> you do remember the thing, right? You know, when we talked about it the you know, like, entire day yesterday, it was a uh, kind of a big deal. I kind of, I kind of zoned out for like uh, ten o'clock, like, <laughs> two hours. 
<laughs> we, we caught you up to speed. I mean, like, you know, we gave you the, the, the whole info afterwards, so you should be fine, right? You know, it's a... I don't think you can talk about it here, because, you know, it's not a peak. Well, it is what it is. If what happens, what happens? Just... Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Uh, out of character Hold question. <laughs> um, Neil is not here. Who the fuck is going to uh, pilot Neil? Because Neil is in charge of keeping Aris in check. Yes, uh, and... Don't do either, it one of you no. guys, either one <laughs> of you guys pilot uh, Neil, or... Uh, do we wait we for him? him AFK. You said he can. No, I don't want. I don't want to leave Aris on his own. He's the one who's doing like the most important part. He has to fucking blow up the vault. Oh no! <laughs> no I'll blow oh, yeah, everyone no. up. No, uh, Neil also has the uh, all that the dynamite. Yeah, and he also has the sp- the, the scrolls. Yeah, the scroll of something. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's sleep. He's <laughs> sleeping. Yeah. Oh, what do we do? I guess uh, if he doesn't arrive by the time that uh, happens, can we try piloting him? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting for far that. Yeah, so you're all just kind of huddled around this small table. Eventually, after like maybe 10, 13 minutes, he comes down the stairs and you see him just kind of. Uh, huddling up more people up the stairs, telling them where their rooms are. Um, and yeah, eventually he kind of comes around the counter and just stands there for a quick moment. Uh, walk up the, the counter and go out the, you know, just lean over to Mr. Farlight. Uh, Mr. Farlight, uh, you got those maps ready? Um, he gives you a quick nod, uh, giving you a very, very very quickly made map uh it's just kind of a sheet of uh, small paper with small instructions on it and hold on let me send that to you while while you're doing that he gives you he gives you this kind of map um and what are the rest of you guys doing you're watching this happen just kind of clay standing up talking to farlight i guess i got to listen in since i you know I, I, I vaguely remember. Okay, out of character, I, oh, I remember the up the one that Aether said up to speed. I remember like fifty percent of what you guys said because it was very rushed. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll, I will. I will. I go to the plan one more time. Um, right after I get the stuff. Right, 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 right. And I'll, I guess I'll I'll listen into what play is speaking to Carla. I mean, I don't think you can hear it because, like, if you can hear it, then other people can hear it. And I don't want other people to hear it, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, you're in a room? Or what are you guys doing? You're just talking to him, like, nearby, right? Peter? Uh, yes, kinda. Then I'll keep watch. Maybe someone is looking at and they're, like, plotting. How do I show this? Show to only play. There you go. I look for some that? suspicious, suspicious people, cast like people like people like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, with how much there are around here, there are a few dragonborn, some race that you haven't actually seen in a while in the city. Um, but you know that they exist. They're the tabaxi. There's a lot of tabaxis here now. Um, a handful of these kind of very purple, kind of colored, uh, skin colored um, human like people. They have very shiny eyes, but you're not quite sure what they are. Let me copy this. Varad realizes this place is very progressive. <laughs> what? <laughs> a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh, races here. What? What? <laughs> it's like that's how <laughs> fantasy worlds work, bro. <laughs> you know what? I'll go outside. Oh, God. Sure. Um, you know, you 
stand up, walk out to the door, you open the door. Outside, there are a handful of carriages, different horses. One that doesn't even look like a horse, more so looks like a dinosaur. Like probably uh, like a velociraptor just kind of there, standing, waiting for something. And a handful of these things, there are a whole load of people now, like twice, maybe three times more than the usual amount of people mm -hmm. in the streets. So this whole event that's happening is huge for the city. We're in the Lush Loot Inn, right? Yes. I will signal Paro. Paro! I'll be at the plaza! <laughs> where, where, where is brother now, actually? Is, wait. I'm is Faro still to in the room? No, ready to go I'd, outside. I'd assume you'd go down along with uh, the group. Alright. Uh, sure, do whatever. Tell Clay! Then I leave to the plaza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Um, yeah, before we go do that, what is the group that's currently in the Lush Loot Inn doing? Uh, who are you asking? Because I'm separated. Aras and Aras. Aras and Aras, what are two of you doing? I guess after a meeting, I'll just go out and see, uh, meet up with people. I mean, Paro and uh, Brad, I guess. Uh, Brad went off somewhere. Faro is still like downstairs, eating alongside you. you know? And Clay is currently talking with um, Farlight, Fourth Wind Farlight. And then after I a just... while, they, you know, finish talking, you see Clay eventually just on his own. Damn, that's sad. That's uh, sad. Contemplating that's a piece it. of paper. Uh, yeah. I'm, I still have to ask for a couple of questions. Uh, yeah. I'm just chilling somewhere, I guess. Sorry, it's kind of dumb. I mean, Aras. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I went Faro, right? I'll just stick with Faro for the meantime. Okay. Uh, sure. Brud takes you like 20 minutes to get towards uh, the plaza. And you are not alone there by no shot. There are a whole lot of people, uh, you know, just kind of standing here. A few of them, you know, under the tree having their own kind of small picnics. Um... There's what looks like a small religious fountain in the very center of the plaza. There's, um, you know, small children running about left and right, playing along the side of grass. Uh, small pets that fly over them. Looks pretty much like, if you would imagine, a very furry chicken. Um, and you see these things get flying over them. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh... Is there like a like a tr uh, tree nearby that there's no people in it? Yeah, there are a few. Mostly just kind of birch and uh, you know oak trees. Small. I'll go to outside. one. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll go to one, one tree, sit down on it, and just wait wait until they call me. <laughs> okay. Vibe. <laughs> I'm, I'm a vibe. You know what? I'm up. I'm a. Uh, I don't sit well. Brad does not sit well because he he li he was working right. He's a working man. He does not like enclosed spaces like a house or areas. He wants to be outside, smell the fresh air. Okay. Actually, is the air actually fresh or is it like smell like shit? From where you are, yeah, definitely fresh. Hell yeah, um, Brad. Smells really nice. Brad happiness level plus one <laughs> oops i just rolled the maze oh no <laughs> no the tree he beats the tree up. he beats the tree up now <laughs> um yeah actually i'm gonna look i'm gonna look for uh suspicious people in around the area no no like uh I don't know. give me a description of <laughs> suspicious to you wait I'm thinking of what Brad thinks it is. 
Yeah. Uh, the default description of suspicious for Brad is like, you know, tall man, black coat with a fedora, with a mask. <laughs> <laughs> like a usual, like a normal suspicious, like a stalker. Yeah, the, you know? the in, in, incognito man. <laughs> incognito man, <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> um, from yeah, you're sitting down underneath this kind of large tree with a shade, and there's absolutely nothing of that kind of description that you can see, aside from a few that are probably wearing their coats, but mo- but mostly, you know, children, mothers, par- probably parents, you know, all the kind. Just having a having a whale of a time in the plaza that you're in. Brad uh, feels safe. Nothing much. Brad feels safe. Brad meditates, I guess. Huh? All right. <laughs> sure. Actually, Brad eats one ration. <laughs> you grab a ration, <laughs> you just kind of chomp it along the side. Uh, yeah, you're chilling there. Very nice. There you go. Oh yeah. All right. I guess I'll wait until everyone finished. Okay. Um, yeah, back in the l- lush loot in Lucilla, Pharaoh, and Aras, as well as Clay, what are you three doing now? Uh, me, I'm asking. I'm, I'm supposed to ask for a couple of questions. Yeah, you can you, go ahead. So I'm just looking be around. at the map, mm-hmm. and I'm just like. Uh, so uh, this uh, this path is uh, safe. Uh, no 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 zombies. No popes. No pope zombies. No none. He looks at you with the utmost uncertainty in his eyes. I'm not a hundred percent sure that it'll be safe, but at the very least, that path was the one I took when I was um, scouting. At the very least, and this is I'm uh, not sure. This is uh, from here to the, to the the merchants. Yes. So just gotta do it the other way around. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, they got a, they got a, they got a, they got a, like a, a hood or something that I can use to cover my, uh, my clothes. What, what do you mean by a hood? Uh, you know, something to cover like me from head to toe. You know, like some. Yeah, because I'm going to be wearing some clothes that I don't want people to see yet. You know, it's good. He gives you a nod, kind of goes around the counter, digs up a bit of what looks like some sheet, some parchment, until he eventually finds what looks like a kind of large coat. Um, and he just kind of folds it nicely, slides it along. Um, this is the best of the description that I could give you. And uh, how much you want it for? Depends on how much you're willing to give. So what if I said uh, two copper? Then that will be enough. <laughs> really? This is cloth that I can find in every single section of the city. At the prices I mean, here if I were you, I would have charged more, you know, that's... Uh... You've done well by me, so I will do my best to do well by you. Here you go, three silver. He gives you a smile. Uh, anything else I can help you with, with your um, incursion? Uh, if you leave, if you believe in gods, uh, pray to them, because it's gotta be a long day today. Then I shall pray to the gods, I guess. Um, and you watch him just kind of give you another nod, turning to the rest of the patrons that are currently in his very small inn, now filled to the brim. Uh, I give him an as well. I go back upstairs, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change into Pearson's outfit. Uh, also shape shift into. Actually, no, not yet. But I change the Pearson's outfit, and then I wear my uh, wear the cloak over it, and I have the peasant faces again. Again, the male peasant. <laughs> All right, Mr. Spare Change. Okay, and so you do. You shape shift. Turn your face and body to that of your liking, and eventually you have this kind of cupboard persona now. And all the while, Pharaoh and Aras just kind of sitting there, having their meal, sitting down, watching as all of these things around happen. 
um, you notice that there are a few people uh, just kind of in the small, uh, you know, the other small tables that are around you. Few of them are gambling. Um, pretty high prices, but looks like um, some games you can join if you wanted to. Early in the morning. Wow. Yeah, very. It's like uh, six, probably almost seven in the morning, and they're already gambling. They've probably been there since the night. Um, what I also do is I'm gonna barge into Lou's room while he's AFK and grab uh, the other component to the spark rumbles. <laughs> Yeah, and you you watch him there, just kind of rust sleeping style, <laughs> just kind of on the side, and uh, you just scum, you know, scuffle through his pack, and there you find it, along I'll with what looks careful. like a large notebook of stuff. So one, like basically, I have like two pouches. One pouch of the mana steel dust will be on my left side, and the black steel powder will be on the other side, making sure none of them touch. All right. Um, and your caution will do you favors as you, you know, separate most of these things knowing exactly what they could do should there be a need to. Uh, question. If one speck of mana steel dust and one speck of black steel powder collide, how big is the explosion? One room worth. One speck? One, if, uh, imagine the... Like a grain. Yeah, the, like the dust grain. is like a salt, like a rock salt grain. That's how big they are. Oh, okay. um, And that much with another rock salt grain, you know, collide, just even by a small touch, your in-room would probably explode. That's how large the damage could be. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not, it's not like I'm just going to blow up the half the city. <laughs> like a bite it though. Uh... Oh, well, I guess uh, I will tip my hat to uh, AFK Lou and leave. Oh, I tell him to to follow and please keep an eye on Aras. Please, for the love of God, I start begging and groveling. <laughs> you, you don't see him re respond, but he's just kind of standing. Like NPC walks towards the door. <laughs> A tear like goes into his eye, but he's still emotionless. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll leave and uh, I'll I'll join the rest of the group. I assume that Lou will follow. Yeah, Lou, Lou is just kind of hanging around with you guys. And uh, yeah, I meet everyone outside and uh, I tell them to walk with me. I give them a wink. Also, wait, actually before that, I have to go to Farlight and I have to pay for the breakfast. Uh, that was already part from the payment you did yesterday. Okay. Bed the and breakfast, that's nice. Yeah. Right. And uh, yeah, we're just walking out now. All right, you walk out and there you find Pharaoh, Aras, but no Brud. I, I look uh, at the, both of them. Uh, where's uh, where's Brud? Uh, I I think he said something along the lines of tell Clay I'm going to Plaza or something like that. I don't I don't really remember. Jesus. Do, do, do you know where the Plaza is? Wait, no, actually I know where the Plaza is. Uh, I will go to the Plaza. Uh, I'm I'm gonna head out to Fit So Good if you're fine with that. Hey, well, what time is it? Uh, I'm like, is, do we have watches actually? <laughs> no. <laughs> you have the sun. That's that's the best you can do. Uh, it looks like uh, you know, sun's still uh, re de decently uh, on the horizon. You can, you can, uh, actually, no, it's already seven. There's no way. But uh, yeah, you can go there. Just uh, meet me at the plaza like as soon as possible. Uh, right. You too, Sarah. You can do whatever the fuck you want, but just, just get there as soon as possible. Kill someone. <laughs> you you said whatever. Murders. <laughs> In moderation, you know, within within the uh, legal confines of the city of Nova. What's a legal thing? I will go to a secluded place where I could potentially kill. Bro, you know what? Just go with me to Cis Plaza. How about that? You know. <laughs> What do I? What do you want me to actually do? Out of character. Uh, just I don't know. You can do whatever you want, honestly. That's what uh. I'm doing, I'm saying. <laughs> just meet at the plaza after. after uh, done I will just uh, follow Faro, but in a stalking manner. Yeah. Huh? That's uh, nice. Right, you, you be quick, please. Uh, <laughs> don't that seems me. nice. Wait, fits so good is actually pretty. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna meet. I'm gonna meet you. It fits so good. You can. Uh, you can stay there. Well, just wait for us over there. 
Mm-hmm. Right. I just just stay there. I'm I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to go to bread. Yeah. Meet you if it's so good. I start leaving. Okay. Um, start with the bread group, I guess. Um, Clay, you start making your way there, and also another like twenty minutes would pass. Eventually, you reach the plaza. There, you see a whole load of people, including Brud, just kind of very peacefully sitting underneath a tree, meditating. You can almost hear the alms from where you are. Alms. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Brad, it's not. It's not almost. You can't hear the ums. Uh, are there people staring at him? Uh, there's there's a few, but uh, mostly probably because of the fact that he's the largest man here. Um, but nothing much, you know. Uh, Mr. Brad, sorry to interrupt your meditational uh, session, but uh, we really gotta get going. Oh wait, no. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to talk in clay voice. I'm supposed to talk in peasant voice. Oh, Mr. Brad. <laughs> we, we, we really got to be going. Did you just transform in the middle of open? Uh, no, no, no. I was already peasant. <laughs> I just retconned it. <laughs> it don't mind. Yeah, don't, 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 worry about it. don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Rewind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, then I... You know, you know those, uh, I'm gonna open my eyes, I look at Clay. Close, I close my eyes. Um... Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mis, Mr. Brad, uh, we, we really gotta be going, uh, daylight's burning, and all that. Uh, okay. Where are the others? Uh, they would, the uh, fit so good. Uh, let's go there, yeah? Uh, let's go there. Brad, Brad think, Brad like peasant, peasant play. Brad, Brad think we sound same. Uh, you know, y you can think all you want. Let's just go. Keep, keep your thoughts uh, to yourself, yeah. Brad, no good at thinking. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> just, we, <laughs> don't worry about it. We know we, we're not good at everything, you know. Brad, good at punching. Yeah, yeah. And I guess we, while we're talking, we're going to the city. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, it looks like uh, Mr. Lou is, uh, is, is out of it uh, for some reason. <laughs> uh, would you be the person to to look after uh, Aris? I'm thinking of uh, having Lou be with, uh, with Farrow instead. Uh, bro, take care of Aris. what he do? Oh, you already know what he's gonna do. Okay. Won't Brad make more... <laughs> more of it happen? Uh, all you gotta do, go uh, down at the basement, is place the explosives when nobody's there. You can pretend that you're placing the, the you know, the, the powders in there. And then once the, the, the distraction happens, uh, you can go and blow the place up. How about that? Okay, we brought place explosive when no one looking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that... so uh, do you have big pockets? I oh, <laughs> I have. Wait, okay, uh. We need to hide uh... the dynamite somewhere. Okay, uh. If you can what? look at my body, I only have a sack. I don't have backpack. Brad, no, no backpack. Oh, uh, no, I got an idea. I got an idea. You place the, the, the dynamite sticks here yeah, on your on your, on your your pants, you know, on the inner part. You make it look like you're, you got a, you're hung, you know. <laughs> Nobody's going to question it because you're, you're a Goliath and all that, yeah? It's just massive. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know, Brad. Brad, Brad think that people like guard no fool, no get fooled. No, no, they're gonna get fooled. Don't worry, I can do the talking. Okay. Uh, first of all, play. Uh, 
that doesn't look like a dick. That's more of a cylinder at best. Oh god, this 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 bro is smart. Then uh uh I don't worry about it. You'll just say we you have a disease or something how about that, yeah. Oh, so, uh, you know, you know, Clay, tell guard, it's Goliath's dick. That's yeah, how yeah, they look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Are we in fit so good now, guys? Eventually. Yeah, eventually like, you will, you will people, reach there. People we pass by and we're talking about dick. <laughs> people uh, are looking. No one, no one, no one knows. <clears throat> bustling <laughs> yeah they're 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 having their own kind of problems and whatnot but yeah eventually you make it there towards the door and you see pharaoh that oh uh, no pharaoh's not here yet um you see aras just kind of um laying about just waiting for something to happen uh meanwhile pharaoh you make your way towards the fits you good and there sits kind of um a gnome at the very least just kind of almost falling asleep. Looks like he's been awake for a very long time. He's tired. Hello. Wait, I've entered the thing already. You're still outside I... the door, but you can see through the window. I. I'm just going to open the door and see if he does anything. You open the door with a creak and a bell rings above you. <laughs> Looks like it's been newly installed. You look around the corner and you can see uh, the, the gnome there just kind of slowly waking up. Uh, uh, good morning, welcome to the Fits You Good. I... Remember me? He looks at you immediately with a wide eyed expression. Uh, you're back. What, what did I. Uh, you're looking to buy something? Yep. Uh, uh, I'm. Just gonna buy something, head out, cause no trouble. Don't wanna do that thing again. That's good. For me and you, that's good. What are you buying? Uh, clothes. Clothes that, um, cover as much of my scales as possible. How much money do you have? This is the last uh, time out, I remember you had none. I don't have a lot, but hopefully it's enough. Ten gold. For ten gold, I can give you this. You watch him just kind of quickly turn towards a few of the mannequins that are there. Undress one mannequin very quickly. It's just a white plain shirt um, with kind of several of this... Uh, imagine like a farmer's garm. Just, you know, very wide open. Sleeveless almost. Um, but he quickly puts it towards a table and very very kind of astutely starts stitching some sleeves on very long sleeves um while he's doing that he's kind of looking you up in the eye you run into trouble recently <laughs> after you know get doing some not so very legal murdering here yeah you can say that You and your types always decide to go for violence first. But who am I to judge? Eventually, he finishes uh, stitching up some sleeves. Very knit, but uh, very kind of clean knit, but also very crude. Um, just kind of hands it to you. Should be enough for anything that isn't far too taxing to the cloth. Just don't break it. All right. How much would this be? Five gold. Good. I'll just toss over five gold, grab what he gives, and just leave immediately. He nods, you know, sits back down. A sweat pours from the top of his head. <laughs> <laughs> and he lets you go. And now, wait. They're already here, right? So I don't have to go to the plaza. Uh, you won't know that. All right. I'll head over to the plaza. 
I mean, yeah, nah. The shortest route to the plaza would be from down south. Not that you know where the plaza is, but you know. You'll pass by, you know, the same group just outside, all gathered now. There's a handful of people just crossing by you. More carriages come by. But eventually you see, an, like, with your vision how far they are. Um, you you can see that they've started kind of grouping up now outside the Lush Loot Inn. Uh, there's not much I can do now. I'll just gather up with the group as well. All right. That's my thing done. Okay. <clears throat> and um, yeah, what's happening with the group now? Uh, are we here? Yep, everyone's here. And I, I don't, I don't want to go in. I don't want to talk. Qu uh, question, by the way, by uh, are you uh, are the people who are going to wear the guard uniforms wear the guard uniforms? What? No one's responding. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> are the people wearing who are supposed to wear the guard uniforms? Are they? Are you wearing it? I'm not wearing no. it now. We're not okay. wearing it. I'm not wearing then it where now. Then where are you gonna change? Then where are you gonna change? Go change. Remember, like this is like a really, it's really packed city right now, by the way. So where, that's why I changed the head and wore my cloak because I don't know if I can change anywhere else. Uh, where are we going again? The mercantile, right? Mercantile. Mercantile. We can stop by the deep red. Yeah. But uh, it's for especially for okay. I'll, I'll just say this in character. So uh, let's uh. Let's go to Deep Red first, uh, talk to Cedric one more time, and then we can give us something extra. And, uh, you know, you can change into your god uniforms there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, let's just go. Uh, Mr. Farrell, be careful. We don't want uh, anybody seeing you until, uh, you know, the distraction. All right, then we yep. go. Also, we like, go uh, walking, the uh, I'm like saying, uh, by the way, there's one crucial bit of information we don't have, which is... You know the the time. I'm not exactly sure if I can even present and what time I can present. So uh, we're gonna be operating by uh, by winging it pretty much. Uh, I don't know, how we're gonna... uh, Mr. Farrow, you can make a distraction when you think it's a good time. How about that? All right. I I'll just um. I, I trust your judgment. Uh, I don't know how you're gonna attract uh, your friends. Maybe you can start screaming. Uh, hey, uh, my friends, I'm I'm here or something like that. I don't know. I have an idea. All right, all right. Then uh, around that time, uh, Mr. Lou, uh, Eris, and uh, Brad, you can go down to the basement. And uh, once you see the guards leaving, right, for, to, to, to deal with the commotion, that's when you can you can you can place the bombs. And off we go. Right. We're going to the deep red first, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna chain. To guard armor, that's gonna impact my AC a lot. Where are you changing into that? Oh, I see. Uh, what's that? What's that? What's like? What's that guy's name again? Cedric. Cedric. Do we see Cedric, right? Um, you're still heading off towards uh, the deep, deep rat. rat. Um, as you're doing so, let me actually move you guys here. Oh no! There's probably gonna be something even before we enter. <laughs> There are guards outside. No, we see Pierce him. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, hold on. Give me a quick moment. And then Pierce is like, seems I've put a wrench in your plans. A bit of torture won't hurt me. <laughs> huh? Hold up. Let me just do this very quick. Hold up. Hold up. Um. Yeah, this this will do. This will do nicely. Oh, creepy! Don't say that again. This will do. This will do. Very nice. Don't say that. 
This will yeah. do nicely. <coughs> like Ooh. a steel or a kilogram of They're both a kilogram. What? It's alright. I don't get it. But steel is heavier than feathers. <laughs> you are doing yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but bo both a kilogram. They're both a kilogram. I oh. saw the other one. It's locked. Oh no, I haven't seen that one. <laughs> I know there's another yeah, bottle, it... bottle of water. Oh, not that one. <laughs> that one is funny. No, no, not bottle of water. Uh, the water, is free. water is free. Water is free. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Water. 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 <laughs> if you see the locked one, it's locked. <clears throat> yeah. It's locked. <laughs> okay. I like what we're just um... talking about. Put okay. your tokens down this path right here. I set up some suspicious stuff. And then we put it there and like a hundred <laughs> guards are there. Surrounded Bro. by guards. <laughs> Shit, we're surrounded. Get the, get the guy in the wheelchair. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's the mastermind. He's Professor X. Get him. <laughs> Yo. Imagine pushing this guy off the wheel. Is there wheelchairs in this world? God damn! No, no, no. The well, advance. When the guards are there, like he's got a bomb, and he pushes. Yo. <laughs> just stick a bomb on him and just roll him down. Wait, Bro. wait! You can actually make a. Wait, just saying. Okay, okay. This is not good. This is not a what's all that. Uh, it's not up to my conscience, but I can literally place a bomb on him, just push him straight to a wall. Bro, <laughs> infiltration complete. <laughs> Yikes. Right. We can do that, we can do that. But would you? I won't. I don't know. But we could. <laughs> right. Not saying I wouldn't. Um... You make it towards the Deep Rat Tavern. Outside, you can already see so many people uh, so making their way towards the tavern itself. A few just kind of, you know, passing by, uh, you know, making their dues and whatnot. Um, but yeah, what are you guys doing? There's two wheelchairs. <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> I will go... Let's All right. Uh, before we get, before we go in, um, you know, let me go and uh, scout the place. Yeah, I'm check if uh, there's got any of his friends in there. You know, any guards. You know, uh, just to be sure. How about that? I'll give you a wink when the coast is clear. Just, uh, just give me a minute. All right. All right walk. Okay. <clears throat> you start making your way there. You know, past <laughs> all the people. That's <laughs> that's a window. <laughs> It's like huge. This window's huge, man. There's literally a door. No, there's it looks door. open though. Come on. There's a door. There's, there's a door icon here. Are you serious? But this looks like, open. He just like <laughs> sticks his face on the window. <laughs> <laughs> there's a literally a thing called the welcome here. <laughs> oh no wait, you know you know those uh those videos yeah, right like, it's the window, so you know? clear it's so clear and he just walks on the window. <laughs> just face plants into it, falls down, he's dead. <laughs> Starts twitching. One D twelve damage. <laughs> right. Uh, I'll... Uh. Uh, I look around. Oh, I, I just ahead. rolled my mace again. Spread change. <laughs> <laughs> Walk inside. Full, full, full of people. Uh, every direction you can see looks like a few criminal undermines that you've seen per perhaps before, perhaps around the city. A few thieves and whatnot. But either way, it's a new place and there are also a whole load of just commoners here. Perhaps coming here to take a drink or whatnot it's just mixed in this whole huge group any notable figures other than the you know the criminals that i'm accustomed to seeing 
Aside from the criminals that you're accustomed to seeing, you see two particular figures back here towards the back end. One wearing what looks like a very long cloak that has a... Um, looks like an insignia on the back. You're not quite sure what it is, but it looks almost like um, a large magical circle. Oh god. On the other hand, um, the one on the right looks pretty much like he's wearing not but a few simple clothing. Hello? Yes, I'm in limbo. Um, can't hear anyone. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> what? Hello? Yo. Okay, I'm actually in limbo. Okay, wait. Bear me. <laughs> Man just went deaf out of nowhere. <laughs> the fucking shadow realm. <laughs> yeah, but aside from these two, that's all you can see. Uh, can I try like getting a close look at them? I wanna, I wanna like try to pedal like over here. Uh, I'll go here, make get comfy, sit down, you know, and uh, you yeah, like... you you take a seat and you just kind of quick uh, take quick glances at them, and you actually you can almost tell who these guys are. You've seen them yeah. in small portraits, books, and whatnot, and. You see these two. Oh! Repeated Eldrin. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, one of the mo modules doing something. <laughs> Stubborn Sarah. Why Sarah look like that? <laughs> <laughs> Why Sarah look like that? She's not the... <laughs> Why is she ugly af? Yo, you sh... I'm gonna try eavesdropping on them, actually. Uh, you're gonna try eave eavesdropping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, go ahead and roll me a perception roll. Perception. Roll streak! Whoa! <laughs> Damn! Damn. Oh, I rolled a three, by the way, but I got like a huge. Uh... Wait, there's a roll streak? God damn. Right. Um, 13. Oh wait, how do you have 10? Is that plus 10? I don't know, honestly. I don't know why my monster's so <gasps> huge. What? Why do you have plus 10? Your mod for wisdom is a 0. So you actually just rolled a 13. What do you mean? It said 3 when I rolled the dice. I'm lagging. Oh, maybe I didn't see the 10. I don't know, actually. Yeah, it's just 13. Yeah, I, I there's, no, saw, there's nothing I, else. Okay, okay. I also I saw just, 3. That, I, I think that's bugging. That's yeah. bugging. Okay. Yeah, that's no, always fine. Um, you try and get a few bits of their conversation, and from the small kind of talk that they do, um, the only thing you can hear are talks of black steel that's being brought in and how they are in charge of making sure that it stays safe that's pretty much it you're having a drink huh. here aldrin's looking for a place to play some exic um <laughs> sarah is just kind of chilling um waiting for a bit <laughs> i gotta walk up to aldrin i'm your biggest fan <laughs> <laughs> i'm your biggest fan <laughs> Alright. Actually no you know what? That's actually not a bad idea because like uh like uh, uh these people are known to so like uh excuse me, what would you happen to be uh uh so so Aldrin and uh Mr. Mr. Sarbo? Uh the two of them just kind of turn very quickly towards your direction. Um Aldrin gives you a quick nod, says hi. How are you doing? Uh Mr Bigger man. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm your biggest fan. I've, 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 I've heard all about this. Uh, your exploits uh, are quite the tale to, 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 to behold. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing to meet you in the flesh uh, what you're doing in this uh, humble town. Um, you watch him about to say something. Sarah just kind of taps him on, taps him on the back. Um, they have a very quick conversation. To which you can almost barely, just barely hear. There's something they're they're talking about. 
uh, guarding something. But eventually, Aldrin kind of comes along, gives you a quick shake, um, and asks you if you want a signature. Uh, 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 a signature from Sir, Sir, Sir Aldrin himself? Uh, of course, I don't have any parchment with me, but uh, you, can sign, you, you can sign me elbow. <laughs> and yeah, he very quickly pulls out what looks like this keychain, but instead of the keys, it's a handful of forged tools, and it's magically just shining. And you watch him very quickly grab a hammer and tap your elbow. As soon as he does that, you'll feel this very quick shock. Of not painful, but a kind of jolt that you feel. And you see his name just written there. And he gives you a quick smile and tells you that it'll fade in a few minutes. <laughs> I got disappointed immediately. Well, if they give you a few minutes, I wasn't going to wash me elbow for, for, for weeks. <laughs> He tells you that you're gonna have to bring him some paper then. <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, I guess that's it then. Thank you, uh, Mr. Aldry, uh, Mrs. Sarah. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. And he uses a smile again and goes back to drinking. Fucking losers. Hello. You see Clay just kind of <laughs> coming around the corner. <laughs> just surprised me. <laughs> Hello. I like how he said he's just gonna wink if the host is there, but he never winked. And he just said hello. <laughs> <laughs> Completely sidetracked. <laughs> brain let the brain let. <laughs> oh, oh right, yeah, yeah. I look at everyone and wink at them. <laughs> 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 <Hey>. <laughs> Brad wonders he why probably he's so lost his memory when he hit that window. <laughs> <laughs> so I walk, I start walking, and then like just trying with him to come with me. And yeah, do the rest of you follow? And no while, idea, while I'm yeah. walking with him, I'm, I'm showing my elbow. Hey, look at this! I got a signature from a, from a, from a hero. <laughs> Who? So apparently, there's a, a couple of the heroes in town. Look at them. I point the the. Aldrin and uh, Sarah. Who are they? Uh, the the fabled heroes that uh, saved the world or something. I don't know. I don't know them. Rod. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Say. I don't. Rod. Like, Rod don't know them. They look like pushovers, but uh, you know, famous people. So I got the signature. Anyway, let's get inside. Uh, Mr. Clay. Yeah. Hey, okay, let's. Let's get away from this woman for a bit. Let's talk private. Wait, wait, wait. There's someone okay. here. <laughs> yeah, you open the door. You see that there's already people in there. Looks like they're having a small meeting. Clay, no. Oh, there's someone there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Close oh, the door. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's coming out. Go. Go. Uh, Clay, let's go meet Mr. Cedric. Yeah, I, 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 I'll just I'll, I'll just uh, stay over here. You can uh, you can do it talking. Oh, we can. Wait, right, no, I, I already let's, left. Uh, I'm not supposed let's, to show let's, myself. Let's go. Let's go corner. Let me ask something. Uh, let me try facing the uh. wall. I can't face <laughs> this. <wall. laughs> but uh, Clay. Yeah. Brad thinks uh, it's a bit dangerous to uh, to use a guard, uh, the guard armor in front of your so-called heroes. Well, uh, what we're going to do now then? Yeah, daylight's burning. It's already seven thirty, I think. Maybe time for club. Oops. Do you really, do you really want Brad to change clo uh, the guard armor here? I don't know what we, what you want me to do then. Yeah. Oh, how about this? Change of plans. Wait, no, that'd be terrible. Uh, you know what? You can work it out. Yeah, I, 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 dear. I've got a clue. If only Mr. Lou were here. <laughs> <laughs> Lou is still sleeping. <laughs> No, he was following you guys and got lost. 
<laughs> uh, hmm. oh, oh, I got an idea, but you gotta you gotta be quick. I'm gonna distract the two of them, and you can you can go through the back and uh, just ask Mr. Cedric to to guide you. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get okay. Him okay. Long enough. Okay. Play. Yeah. We know Mr. Cedric. Yeah. We are friends with Mr. Cedric, and yeah. Mr. Cedric, good friends with Brad. Yeah. And I can just say I'm working with Mr. Cedric instead of like you know sneaking in. No, you do that then. Why are you asking me then? Huh? Why the fuck are you giving me uh, all this time to think when you got the fucking answer yourself? Huh? Okay. Play. Play. I go. I go in. Sneak in. Change to guard armor. I go out and they see me, <clears throat> with guard armor. I just say you're on duty now. <laughs> 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 Bro. <laughs> just so your shifts come up, you know. <laughs> just the usual. <laughs> uh, right, you go in, and uh, 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 th th there's a secret passage uh, that leads uh, out, I believe, from the back. Is it from the back? Can you pass through like this area? <clears throat> yes, sir. No, <laughs> I think we had this conversation. Um, <laughs> I don't know exactly it's where. A, it's like three buildings away. Oh. No, but like one of the entrances is here, right? Inside the building? No, no, no. There's only one entrance here. Uh, you have to go through like the main door here and then go out to this side. <clears throat> like where, well, where Clay, Cedric is. Clay, does... It's underground though, right? The underground entrance is the one that's three buildings away. Then we can just go on the underground passage and, and change there. Uh, yeah, I'll, that's I'll, true. I'll suggest that uh, to Mr. Prod. You know, we could just uh, take the underground passage. Uh, there's an underground passage in uh, this place, and uh, nobody goes there. We can uh, use that to change. How about that? Okay. Okay. Uh, Red want to ask Does Cedric know about plan? Oh. Uh, just making sure. Brod, Brod, make sure. Well, uh, you know, uh, I think he's gonna believe in us. Maybe. It's not like there's a way to update him with uh, the hero. Uh, is he... Okay, Brod want to ask if he's, if he's actually in on the heist. Uh... Okay, I, I say that discreetly, just, you know. <laughs> Brad wants us. He rose just like you. Brad wants to know if he's gonna help us steal things in the mercantile guild. Sarah Brod starts Zephyr ask... strike. Brad wants to ask Clay, this guy over here. I'm pointing. If we're going Honest... to steal. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. So uh, let's just hope uh, he's just on good terms. Yeah. Right, let's go now. We're burning daylight. Change. This? <laughs> <laughs> Two men over here just kind of quickly this drops a few copper not... coins to your side. You have three copper coins now. I I I I, I, I nod and, and and bow and leave. <clears throat> Mr. Cedric, Mr. Cedric, give me a drink. Da, 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 da. Fake Shoo. villagers. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> Is he <Lord> fake? <laughs> Cedric just kind of turns towards you. Oh, uh, bro. Spare change? Cedric! That's Harris. That's <laughs> <laughs> <He's> <laughs> give me a drink. Bup, 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 bup. Give me the finest milk that I've ever seen. Bup, 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 bup. Sardar just kind of looks at you and with your incessant singing, he just tells you, please, um, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Mister Cedric, can I get something in your, in the back? Then I wink. Um, <laughs> that's, just, that's so bad. <laughs> a wink? <laughs> he, he just kind of uh, seems almost <laughs> done with it the moment he sees you. Um... Gives you a very happy smile, uh, kind of walks up towards this uh, entrance here, just opens the small door back here, and just points towards the back. If you want to get anything, sure, go ahead. Oh, sorry, lady. Okay. 
No. <laughs> I'm sorry, lady. I will pass by. I don't even acknowledge her because I don't know the person. Yeah. And uh, you start making your way there. Meanwhile, <laughs> what's Aras and Faro been doing? Fucking with uh, the people in the wheelchair. <laughs> Huh? You're fucking the people in wheelchairs? <laughs> what? Huh? What? <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? The, huh? This these people are in wheelchairs, right? Wait, in the left side. Are they in wheelchairs or in chairs? Uh yeah, yeah they're they're in wheelchairs, but you're nowhere close to where they are. Oh, is there a way to not have the camera pan every time there's a text box? Yeah, um, my neck is getting snapped every time someone's no <laughs> talks. This is, reminds me of a monster hunter fight. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, someone keeps chatting and they can't move. Stop. Uh, press. I think somewhere in the settings you can change that. Hold on. Alright. Um, settings. Configure settings. What would it be called though? Lock view. No. Uh, all core. I think it's in core somewhere. Uh, there. Maybe pan to token pan to, to speaker. Token speaker. Yeah, there you go. Pan to token speaker in core. Underneath, enable chat bubbles. If you turn that off, it won't it will stop you from, you know. Where are you starting? Where you put that? In settings, configure settings, pan to token speaker in core. Turn that off core. and you should be good. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> Thank you. Actually, there's a lot of settings. I continue, then I'll just. Okay. Yeah. Um, aren't you changing? No, yeah, if you are, yeah, you. Oh, yeah, I'm changing. I'll, I'll change here, and I'll go down to the basement. Um. Yeah. Sure. You head down towards the basement, you start changing. It takes you 10 minutes uh, to start, you know, removing all your gear, putting on the guard's armor. And yeah, you pretty much finish up. <laughs> and my AC is now... What's my... I changed me. I can't change me. That's leather armor, right? That's only leather armor? Yeah, it's le leather armor. Oh, my AC is horrendous now. <laughs> but yeah you pretty much finish changing you're in full set of uh, guard armor now and what do you do I equipped it <laughs> you're ready to finish uh how do I <clears throat> effect Double effect. Shield. Plus. Leather doing? armor is plus two. It's just 11, I think, right? Straight leather 11, armor. 11, then. I have plus two in dexterity. Is, is it 11 plus dexterity? Um, 11 plus dexterity, yeah. For leather 11 armor. Plus where, dexterity. Where, where'd Aris go? Is Aris also changing? Please tell me he's changing. Right, then I, after I'm uh, after talking to the crippled people, I will go change. <laughs> after uh, after I'm after I'm changing, I'm gonna go to the base. No, it's not the time yeah. for philanthropy. <laughs> Who's spamming? I'm selling. Who's buying? Stop. Oh, you didn't change the settings yet. No, you just change it. It's just one tick. Just yeah, go to go game back. settings at the top right. You Save configure changes. Settings. Don't forget. Don't forget save changes. Yeah, go to core and then pan to token speaker. Turn that off and then press save. Should be good. Wait, where where, where is everyone changing? Hello. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Can't uh -oh. tell you that. <laughs> you walk That's in and you hard. see that there's like three people here, like doing a meeting. They all turn towards you, Aras. They're like looking at you. Excuse me, what are you doing uh, here? This is a private meeting. I just Kills walk them. out across the door. <laughs> Stabs them immediately. Ah, uh, Aras is lost. Cripple people help me, guide me. 
I don't think they can even guide themselves. <laughs> I, Aras will go solo mode and not change. Because he is lost. Alright, uh, Brad, what are you doing now? I went to the basement. Wait, wait, the basement? I thought we were supposed to. No! What? I thought you're. Where? Yeah, you already uh, went to the basement. Wait, no. You know, you're changing Question. your clothes. Game, say the, g game settings, configure. Am I here? Uh, yeah, oh, you're here. Hello. Configure. Like yeah. just lost the... Game it settings. Like just lost the game. Configure settings and core. Turn off pan to token speaker. Also, Taco, we said that we're gonna go to the underground passage outside the fucking hotel. Not the, the, the <laughs> Too late, the... man. You already like went <laughs> oh, through. No. He's already changed. <laughs> I went down. I thought. The... <laughs> I hear, uh, you know, what? I already we talked already... about it too, bro. Okay, no, you didn't. We did. We literally said, "Hey, where's is the underground passage here?" No, it's outside. It's a three buildings away. That's literally what Cass said. Oh, uh... Mappa recognizes fans' Co Co <laughs> Kobeni animated portrayal feedback and will actually canonize the sloppy blowjob devil. Huh? Oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a it's a joke, but like, you know. <laughs> Anyway. What the hell? Out of context. Uh, Where's the link? Did you send the link? Yeah, it's in uh, Messenger. Oh my god, what did I miss, dude? I'm All sorry. Right, so, uh, no, we, not we didn't do a lot. <laughs> we're, just, we're just fucking around while waiting uh, we, for you. Uh, we're trying to stall. Wait yeah, to we're break. stalled for time. <laughs> so, oh my god, really? No yeah, way. Yeah, I stalled by going to the park. <laughs> Someone is stalling because afraid of Sarah's fucking thing. Yes, up. yes, indeed. That's literally also, it. Also, I stalled because I I'm not that good at. Hey, oh, yo, we should not stall anymore because we got the big day. So, uh... alright, yeah. I'm the chicken, by the way. You, you, go, you, you go the back there. You, uh, you know how we lost? We oh. were against you, Steepy, right? But Steepy. Only two out of five members were from you, Steepy. The three others were challengers that they invited. Yikers! Ah. This allowed? Cringe. No, it's not. <laughs> For official tournaments, it was just a scrim, but you know, like ah, it's fine, okay. Man. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just telling Aris to go down, go through there, and change his side. I'm here. Mister, Mister, what's this there? Mister Brad. Oh yeah, uh, Lou, level level yourself up, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, cause, yeah we are level three. It's okay. Wait, wait, my computer did. is bugging. Already, no, you did. My Poggers. my laptop yeah. is bugging. Someone move me down. Someone I, move you I down. am Where going you? to the basement. I don't know, yeah, I'm at the bar thing. Um Where do I put you? I can't go. On the basement. This, is, like, this is the most obvious fucking like fake outfit uh like get set up ever because like literally two heroes are gonna see it. Sure, you just kinda follow along, head back down to the basement along and you see Brod fully changed into guard armor now. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh meanwhile Lou I'll, I'll say that you arrive, you know, a bit late than the rest of the group. Uh, you were the one that was late and sleeping, but you were following the group right beside them. Okay. And, yeah, you're pretty much right here. Put your token down right here, if you can see it. He's right there, though, inside the... <laughs> I can't move my character. It's lagging. Oh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> you did some teleportation. <laughs> Some fucking oh, I magic disguised shit. myself. By the way, I, like I'm, I'm like a, a darker gnome from the sands. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I I did use I did say that I was gonna disguise myself. Use a spell, disguise self here. Right. Um, I'm ex I'm expecting them to come out anytime soon. So what we do is I'll, I'll I guess I'll do the distraction so that no one else can uh, no one else can see them. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to the Aldrin and the Sarah again. Mm -hmm. I can't move my character. What? There you are moving. The, the I got okay, goods to sell. What? Okay. So I'll walk back up to them and then I'm like, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Aldrin, sir, if, if, you, if you don't mind. Um, Aldrin just gives you uh, another quick look. Um, asks what you need. Uh, I was very moved by your 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 autograph signing, <laughs> and uh, 
I want to, I want to make it up to you by giving you a song. <laughs> and, you know, as busy as he is, he seems to just kind of give you a quick nod. Sure, go ahead. Right, well, this is better with, with a cup of ale. Oh, Mr. Bartender, sir, if you'd be so kind. Uh, you see Cedric just kind of gives you a small, very quick glance. Heads over towards the barrels and starts just, you know, grabbing a mi mug. Um, and slides along and just kind of looks around. Uh, you can pay me later, uh, beggar. Uh, it's, a, it's a big festival day, so you can have this for free, I guess. Bless your coin, soul. And I look over at everybody. Uh, to, to the entire bar. And I, I scream at the top of my lungs. Everyone, three cheers for our heroes today, Aldrin and Sarah. <laughs> and I, I, I point towards them. Uh, they all just very quickly turn their heads towards you, uh, trying. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Spooky. <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least a small group that's here, they all just kind of turn towards you. And they all start, you know, clapping for some reason. Most of them are hey yo. playing. <laughs> hey yo. What? <laughs> That's... Oh, and well. then, as I, when I get everyone's attention, I, I try to lead their their gazes over here. Uh, about uh, in celebration, let's sing a a, a song. Here. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of you uh, know this one. And I start singing um, uh, what do you call it? It's like a tavern song. What do you see? <laughs> All for me, Grog. <laughs> I know sure. the song, but I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> um, yeah. You you start singing. There Meanwhile, was that put um, to inside that kind of basement ship. area, you can hear very loud singing from the outside, Brud. Here, it is. I'll, I'll, what I'll are you paste doing? the lyrics. I... I'll just paste the lyrics. There we go. Hopefully they, they change in time. Oh. <clears throat> right. Uh, Brud? Yeah? What are you doing now? You've changed. You're pretty much done. You hear singing from the outside. What are you doing? I was about to go down, but I remember um, face words. It's three blocks away! Then I just <laughs> go. <laughs> it's three blocks, you damn oaf. <laughs> Uh, and and so with guards do. armor, this is very scuffed because I'm wearing guards no, armor. No, don't worry. I, I'm facing them away. I'm facing them away. Um, before you move and do anything, Clay, make Game me boss. a performance Magic. roll. Brad, make me a sneak. I'm not sneaking. Am I sneaking? I'm Are you going to sneak? You're not going to sneak? All right, sure. I'm just, then... I'm just walking normally. I'm just... Uh, Clay, go ahead That's and very... make me a performance roll. This That's is very the biggest suspicious. performance of my life. It's so suspicious I will not on guard fail. I will no. do mediocre. <laughs> yeah, you're you're doing it's you know pretty normal. And let's see. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> As you you know you start singing, um you notice this one back here, bruh. Just kind of quickly turn her head, seeing movement across her eye. Just quickly turn towards you. And seeing a guard. Who? who where? Where? Who? Oh, this one. You haven't seen this one before? Miss Zephyr Strike. No. <laughs> oh, Miss Zephyr Strike. The stubborn Sarah. Why does she not look anime? <laughs> <clears throat> you look different. She looks over towards you, sees a guard from the back, and just looks at you for oh. a long time just stares i'm i'm, I'm no, sweating no, I'm do i see this yeah you Wait, see this from I'm where walking, you are oh, I'm, I'm sweating bullets outside while i'm walking outside oh it's time for my shift <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and make a me? deception roll <laughs> as that's no as that's happening i'm trying to distract uh sarah by like singing even louder do I get the yeah, you, you can you can have advantage for that there you go deception, deception with right? advantage Oh, and it's time. all for me, Grog. I'm seeing that there. <laughs> oh, she's trying to. Oh, okay. Oh, no. You're going to have to re roll that. 
It's private, ah, by it's the way. It's private, so... I have to reroll again, no! It's fine, That's, you can still roll twice. Alright, uh... What's that? This happened. Okay. Eight? Eight. 18! Just, just go for a second one. Very <laughs> nice! It's time for my mad. ship! <laughs> right, you say that, and then Sarah just gets blasted by this loud yelling, and she turns towards the back. Allowing for your very quick, not so quick escape. Not really escape. It's more like a deception. All right. How about Sarah or Iris? Actually, <laughs> so their names are the same. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, yeah. I'll, oh, I'll oh, it, for context, Neil, these two are our OCs from the last campaign. This is mine. And this yeah, is, uh, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I, 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 I just walked out. What do you mean? While you were saying. Uh oh. You, uh, and uh, did you do use your token to do it? Yeah, yeah I'm mean, here. Really here. Really? Here. You... I can't tell, dude. Okay, <laughs> yeah, what the he's, fuck is right he's there? blended, bro. He's blended in the group. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know. Uh, bro, I'll, fucking, go, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go around here. Then I'll wait. I'll stand here. I have a spear. And I'll take out my spear and just stand there like a guard. All right. Uh, okay. So after a few minutes, I finished my song. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, it, it, enjoy the festival. Uh, have some good drinks. And uh, yeah, and most stuff. of them start clapping. A few of them just kind of toss uh, coins along your way. A handful of about <laughs> two silver total. I start. Coins. I start hastily picking them up from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> just grabbing them. All right. And yeah, you start. You think I can be paper? You think I can be favored by money? Well, damn, you're right. <laughs> that was a copper piece. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Oh, spare change. You, you got two silvers worth of copper. Okay. So like 20 copper. Okay, let me change that. I said what? And then after oh. that, I will, I will leave. <laughs> All right. Uh, and you do so. You start walking away. Um, and I guess the rest of you also follow. What is Pharaoh doing? I'm just sitting. But I guess I will follow. I don't really know what's going on right now. That was just a distraction to change so, so that the Brud can change the guard armor. Yes. So the whole plan can begin. <laughs> <laughs> All that. Fucking, fucking All Sarah that. saw that. Oh, All, no. Okay. We did 1 hour and 50 minutes. Of nothing but me changing to guard armor. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, now me. we go. Now we go. All right. Now we're, <laughs> now we're, we're we heading go. out. Yo, it's already almost eight o'clock, and the clock, the clock was like super fucking slow. And it's already eight o'clock. Right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, Linda, let's go. Uh, and so while we're, as we're walking back, I'm like, all right. Uh, it seems uh, Mr. Mr. Lou uh, regained the senses, so uh, we can uh, go back to the original plan. Mm-hmm. So it's Brud and Pharaoh uh, for the distraction outside. It's me with the distractions with the with the merchants and the uh, uh, Lou and the Neris uh, uh, at the bottom. Uh, Want to blow up the place? Sound good? Any questions, comments, concerns? <clears throat> leave a like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I would like a com uh, comment. Yeah, go ahead. Just to make sure, where do I place dynamite? Well, no, no, no. We're going back to the original plan. Uh, we're gonna have Lou and uh, Iris do that since uh, Lou is uh, regaining senses. So. Uh, oh, then what do I do? Uh, you you make sure Pharaoh doesn't die. Okay. All right. Let's go. Go. Yeah. And right. uh, w you, uh, Mr. Pharaoh, you decide when to start the distraction. We don't really have a timeline since we don't know when the presentation is gonna start. So, uh, well, we believe in your better judgment. Okay, um, so where are you off to? We are off to the merchant mercantile. Alright. It begins. It begins. There's a theme playing now. Yes. <clears throat> you start making your way off towards the mercantile, and immediately from the streets, you see two groups, two very large groups. One has a minotaur on it. A rat. 
and it's a rat. <laughs> it's a rat. <laughs> oh shit! Oh rat! Oh shit! Oh, Where do I place my token? Mm, my token's uh, in here. I it's think. just um a uh, picture right now. Wait, why is mine? No, I don't so see red. it. I thought it was the cockroach on my my, my monitor. I was same, so scared same, same. for a sec. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, you don't it's see so it? Rat. Hold on, let me turn yeah, off. Yeah, I just the... place my I just place my token. Let me turn we off the light. We only saw the here. rat. Here you go. Make it see normal. Yeah, we only saw the rat. Right. Void Outside <laughs> on the streets, you see two large groups. One from these bandana people, several different colors, with what looks like a small crow on the insignia. And the other hand, there is a large minotaur and a few lizard folk, along with this oh? very regal dragonborn, waiting for something, all seemingly just hiding and blending with the crowd. Alright, uh. Do we notice them? Yep, you see them from where you guys are. You're like in the main street. You're about to reach the mercantile building and it's just in your view. There outside you see these groups. I turned to Mr. Farron, but it right, looks like uh, we, they fell for the bait. Uh, don't don't engage them just yet. Just give a, give a, give us a bit of time to, you know, get into position. Maybe like 30 minutes or something, an hour. I don't know. Are, but, you, uh, are you actually be up there presenting something? What? Like, I'm sorry? Are you gonna be like up there, you know, presenting something? Yeah, yeah, I'm something? gonna be on the second floor. Yeah, yeah. Can you like, I don't know, it's somewhere in your presentation have like a keyword to start the distraction? Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, let's. Uh, when I say uh, disruptive technology, how about that? <laughs> That's <laughs> very. Yep. Uh, what's that? Uh, it's a buzzword I learned from a friend. Just, just don't mind. Okay. What you gonna say, baby? The rattery? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, 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 yeah, yeah, but the disruptive technology. Remember that. Right. I, I look at. I look at Pyro. Remember that. I don't. I don't. I didn't get what he said. Yep. <laughs> All right. So and it's a like constructive economy, and then they start <laughs> blasting. <laughs> right. What's first? Uh, I'm guessing the people going inside. Yeah. All right. So I'm. Not, I by this time I would have like changed. Like I covered my hood. You know, changed into Pearson. Uh, and then I start taking off the the cloak to reveal the mercantile. Uh, you know, attire. I also have his identification and I've memorized his signature. So I should be yep. ready. Yep. All right. And who's coming along with you? Uh, Mr. Eris and uh, Mr. Eris? Lou. Yep. All right, so the three of you first, you make your way towards and just past these groups that you see, the Dragonborn group and the one with the Minotaur, and as well as these bandits waiting for something. You head off towards the Mercantile and there's a stream of people going in and out, looking at stuff. And as soon as you get there, uh, let me move the three of you here. Hold Whoa. on very quickly. Uh, Lou. Let me pull you to the scene. Clay, let me pull you to the scene. And that two, is Aris. Let me pull you to the two scene. Two months of prep for this moment. Imagine if we fuck up. I mean, imagine if Aris just fucks it up. Yeah, oh, man. Aris yeah, that would that'd be so dude. funny. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Put your tokens right here. Doko, can you ping? Can you ping again? It's a loading. Right here. It's, it's a loading. loading. I, bottom yeah, half. It's a loading. Yeah. Uh, no, the only, um, I believe only Lou, Clay, and Aras are, should be here. Yeah, I can't see anything yet. Still They're loading. loading. Yeah, wait, are there so many assets here or something? No. Yeah, there's... I think there are. Pretty, pretty huge. There's the highest I map. think it's loaded, it's loaded, it's loaded, it's loaded. Yeah, it's loaded. Where, where, where? Right down here. Okay. Oh, I'm not this, um, 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 how do I... <laughs> Shit, <clears throat> I am not clay. Is my so token down? Yes, I see Question your tokens mark. right here. I uh, it's blocked for me, but yeah. It's a loading, it's a loading. Yeah, it's probably mm. loading. Okay. Yeah, it's still loading some of the assets. I don't actually see what you guys see. Like what's how is it how it's loading? There's just so a big loading bar. I see, alright. Yeah, I can see the I can see the place, but like I can't interact with my character fully yet. 
All right, then let's just wait for a little while while you guys load. It is pretty huge. Yeah, and there's a lot here. That's true. Alrighty. Can you preload um, Forge? What do you call this? Yeah, I already preloaded thingy? these maps, so I don't know why it's Damn. taking forever. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> they can't understand. What is this? Oh. <laughs> I'm over. What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna save that actually. How uh... oh, you do that? <laughs> oh god. Everyone's a mogusing. <laughs> I'll just type it in the raid chat. Uh, is everything good now or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything's loaded. It's no longer loading for me. Alright. Aris? It is also loading for me. Still loading? Uh, it is already. It's oh, done. It's done. All right, all right. Dude, what, what, what incident happened? There's so many people in wheelchairs here. <laughs> 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 Lots of chairs. <laughs> right. <laughs> you make your way inside and immediately you're filled with a, a handful of people working on what looks like large crates, moving them left, organizing them, as you can see in the very middle of this kind of um, area that you're in. And what are you guys doing? Uh, we're just walking in like we we own the place, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, for the most part, you don't see any guards close to you right now. We are the guards. Uh, can I look, glance over here? What does this look like? Uh, what direction? Uh, I'm trying to ping. There it is. That is a large door. And it seems to be leading to somewhere. Is it locked? From where you are, you're not sure. Oh. Here's some... We need to find um, anyone of authority here. Yes, yeah, so we must uh, talk to them about our invention. Do you see anyone? All I see are many people on wheelchairs. Can I roll a perception to see if I could find anyone that seems uh, like distinguished? <laughs> <laughs> like the one who isn't buying or selling, or one who's actually handling the place. Go ahead, sure. Oh my god, oh my natural god. 20! Bro, he fucking sees through oh. the walls. He's fucking, he's fucking wall hacking. Yeah, you're, you're like, your eyes are moving left and right like that one Madara meme, like, from Naruto. <laughs> and you, like, look down and you see, like, on top of a few boxes, one back here. Um, he seems to be like ordering people up to move some stuff around and also at the same time He's like speaking to the people around him. They're you know, basically showing off what they have in stock what they can sell uh, He's he's doing all the talking back here Okay uh, uh, did you find Here's anyone? some we found one mind talking to him over there of course Let's go there Aris Come with us All right, we have here some tent pegs, a handful of tents, and we can sell this within three days of a quarter of a month. Depending on what you're looking for, we have it all in these crates. Now, who here is here to sell? Who's here to buy? If you're here to sell, you can go inside the meeting rooms. Otherwise, you can stay out where you are. Uh, excuse me? Immediately, he shifts his head. Ah, uh, oh! Pearson, you're late. Yes. Oh, well, big day, you know. Who are these folk to the back? Um, they're my acquaintances. Uh, it turns out I have been introduced to a new compound, and I wish to introduce it to everyone as well. Nah, you better mess, mess with the shopkeeps in meeting room one. Meeting Starts kind of one. pointing back towards here. Very quickly, just kind of ships, uh, shifts his face. Of course, of course. Uh, be on your, uh, be on your way then, or something. I don't know how, you, how people say. 
and he you know he goes back to starting to like sell trying to sell I up call some Aris to come here Aris is already eyeing him down like he has his bow <laughs> ready about to shoot the shit out of him. <laughs> Um, you make your way there, and there looks to be a handful of shopkeeps here, all seemingly recognizing you. There's a handful of them, mostly the people down here kind of turn towards you. Oh, uh, everyone, this is Pearson Fox. He is an acquaintance of mine, and he is also the ledger owner of the... What was it again, Pearson? Are you really asking me now? I forget often. Uh, and this is a good time for introductions, especially with these uh, buyers. Well, today isn't about me, is it? It's about all the things we're buying and selling today. Trade is, in fact, the heart of our business, is it not? She gives you this kind of side-eyed look uh, and turns towards the rest of the kind of shopkeeps that are currently here. Um, sorry about that. Excuse uh, him. He's um, perhaps not on his best mental note of this day and uh, she quickly goes to sit down excuse me and a handful of people just you know take their seats the floor is yours then if you are here for something otherwise uh wait thinking about the floor plan i thought that there was like another meeting room in the second floor the second floor had the presentation room. This is meeting room one. Oh, okay. I guess. I guess. Uh, I guess it's fine. Um, hopefully they can hear it from here. Uh, right. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. I don't know what your name is, Dwarf. <laughs> you don't know your 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 code name is. Me. Uh, My name is um, Lexiku. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Lexico, can you check the? May you uh, place our extra reserve items uh, downstairs? Okay, will do. Aris with me. Where are the floors heading down, by the way? Uh, right Point. side, where the locked door was, where Clay was pointing okay. at. And um, as we're traveling back, I actually wanted to mention to this person over here. Uh, you there, sir, um, Mr. Master. We are Pearson's uh, acquaintances, and where shall we place these reserves, by the way? Uh, and by reserves, what do you mean? Are you looking for cups, crates? No, we need to place it in some place safe because it's not exactly. Um, safe. What would I say? <laughs> safe. Uh, what, what is it? The shopkeeps told you anything about it yet, or what? Um, Pearson is introducing it to them right now, but I would rather say it's explosive, might I add. All right, that's gonna be up upstairs then. Uh, second floor. Second floor. Okay. Just keep it away from the presentation room. I mean, just head there. I don't know if this is the right area, by the way. As I look, not, I look sweatily at Aris. It's not here. We were told to go here. We have to go here. Oh no! All right. Oh no! Uh, Make your way up. I, I don't think the 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 vault is up here, but okay. Oh. Aris, coming in clutch. I mean, I at least know where the vault is. Yeah. Okay. Because we did mention. Yeah. 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 Obviously, but. Then. Okay, um, as we head upstairs, we want to see what's in here first, and then I briefly speak to Aris that we're heading back down and say that this is too unsafe. Let me see. All right. I will just follow you for the meantime. Hello? Am I heard or not? Yeah. Hello? yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Do I see anything? I don't see anything. Uh, you went upstairs, and uh, what you pretty much see... Uh, uh, I don't see token, anything, it's just Put black. your token down here. Sorry, it looks like yeah, that. Okay. Uh, something bugged out, and I Ooh, have to... It's the void! 
You don't see anything? Yeah. I, I see it now. I see it now. Holy shit. Oh my god. Is Aris here? Aris needs to be here too. I am not. I'm behind your token, but I can't see anything. Uh, You have to push yourself to the very top. Automatic staircase. Yeah, you have to okay. actually <laughs> walk. <laughs> I, 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 I can't. Hold on. Let me. For some reason. Alright. Uh, do you see it now? Uh, still no. Uh, it's loading for me. Yeah. Okay. Once it's loaded, put your token right here. Oh my god, there's so much stuff going on. Go. Right. It is my token here. It's still blocked for me though. Uh, put your token down, right here. Wait, did I not put it? Here. See it now. Yep. Mm. I am here now. All right. I'm here. I'm here. You make your way up, and this is pretty much what you find in the main floor. It's quite spacious. There are a bunch of office rooms in the middle. Lots of beer, lots of rum, lots of crates of stuff. Um, and what looks to be uh, large sections of places where you can put pretty much anything. Okay. Aris, we need a good reason to go back down. I'd rather say that it's... This place is too unsafe for what we're about to introduce. Uh, I forgot something. That's the what best excuse mean? I can come up. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot something. Guess I gotta go back to the basement. <laughs> yeah, I believe we need to head back down. Lead the way. Okay, then. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Kakoi. 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 <laughs> it's still white for me. I, I, yeah. I, I, can you, can you place this again? Back downstairs. I want to approach the main main dude again. Alright. Uh, pull and pull. There you go. Okay. Harris, follow me. Follow my lead. Uh, is that a sign for me to shoot or what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Bro. Mr. Merchant, sir. Uh, the guy just quickly looks at you. He gives you a side eye and he looks like he's pretty much tired of seeing your face. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. uh, what do you want? Um, here are some documents from Mr. Pearson. Um, he told us to specifically place this um, within the vault. Um, let, me, let me see that. And he very quickly just reaches down. I have what a forgery kit, by the way. Um, it talks about the document on Pearson wanting to place this within a vault for safekeeping because it is Spark Rumble. And it would be unwise to place it anywhere else. He looks at it, just eyeing it up and down. <sighs> right, this is the stuff from uh, the Napalm fella. Uh, sure thing, sure thing. Make your way down to the vault. Uh, you're gonna have to get processing for the keys, but either way, uh, it's up to you. Okay, then. Aris, with me. We begin to head down to the vault. Which is here, right? Yep. Is it closed? It is, in fact, closed. Can we open it? You reach for the door, you try and open it. Locked. It's locked. Meanwhile, Aris, you while, you, while you're doing okay, that, okay. before you do anything, um, Clay, what are you doing? I will slowly walk up to the center of the meeting room. You do that, everyone's waiting for something to happen. Right, it appears as, uh, as though we've uh, 
got uh, ourselves on the wrong foot. Uh, someone, or one of our peers, has mentioned that I was a little off today, and admittedly, I am. This is not for, but without reason, of course. You see, I have come across something big. Something that could change the very ecosystem of trade. Uh, in my in my hands right now are two bags. I'm, I'm sure some of you may notice uh, what these bags may contain. But uh, let, allow me to say this simply. In both these bags are powders. When the powders collide, they cause an explosion. But this is just like any other explosive. In fact, the explosion is so potent it could this these two bags could wipe out an entire block. Now you know why I seem off today. It's because I'm quite nervous. You see, this, my friends, is disruptive technology. <laughs> <laughs> wow, very discreet. You know that means <laughs> discreet. Very discreet. I hear that and I run back. I run back to um, Mr. Mr. Merchant and ask him if he could unlock it. <laughs> Wait, that was just for comedic effect, but like, it would be a lot more natural. All right. Just... Yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, but yeah, you see that. And before um, we go back to uh, Lou and Aras going to talk to the merchant. Um, we head back towards these folk down in the streets near the mercantile. Oh. As okay. the two of you are out there waiting, you watch as these groups begin to just kind of almost get very hostile with one another. But they stay, they remain calm until, Brud, you hear this. Alright, we're here for the same thing, aren't we? A dragon born with a hefty bounty. So how about this? We work together, find that dragonborn, and chop his legs, arms, head, and deliver it to you. Our work, your profit. And you watch as the dragonborn just kind of very quickly turn towards them. Our work is not for these barbaric folk, but we are here to ensure that this one has a clean public execution our allies will remain still and we will work for now and you watch them hold hands shake my god uh, I see... pyro like pyro uh pyro uh are they looking for you yep definitely uh since i've heard the thing i'm gonna make sure i'm within like viewing distance from those two groups go to a, the closest innocent person <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> no no don't worry i'm gonna go to the closest innocent person make them like force them to turn to me tell them to scream and then put, look up and do a breath weapon <laughs> oh my god I'm not oh gonna. Br- I'm not gonna blast them. I'm. I'm, I'm like making a, almost a flare. All right. So, bro, this is what you see. You see Pharaoh immediately walk up out in an open public. Soon, he grabs what looks like a woman that's just carrying a few goods, going to go to the mercantile probably to sell it. Instantly, you watch him grab her by the neck, tells her to scream, and you, you didn't even need to tell her to scream. She immediately screams, looks up into the air, and a breath weapon fire appears up into the air and almost in an instant these groups begin to chase you let's go let's well go. he's chasing he's, he's they're chasing pyro i i'm just watching because i didn't hear the signal <laughs> <laughs> what? i literally said disruptive technology yeah no, no, no. Like, i didn't he I shouted didn't hear it the, by I the way yeah no i don't i didn't understand remember i don't understand it but i saw pyro oh, so like, oh maybe that's a signal mm. No, Pharaoh, do put your token right here. Time to run for my life. Bro, I take the dash action. I take the dash action. <laughs> I take the dash <laughs> Right. As you're being chased, you see a handful of people getting pushed aside, pushed to the right and left. This is all happening at once. Instantly, Brud. You hear Clay's voice. 
But you don't know <laughs> what he just said. <laughs> but it was very reassuring. You can hear it. <laughs> Firm tone of voice. No, but I'm, I'm familiar about what he said. At least that was the signal. So do you know yeah. or not? Yeah, of course I know because he said okay, it. Okay, <laughs> okay. I don't understand it, but I know it is the okay, okay, signal. Okay. You know, phon pho 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 phonetics or something. Yes, I don't yes. Know. You know how the the word I'm, is pronounced. Yeah. You don't know what it means. Yeah. You know, like, Ching Chong Wa Joy Bing Shiling. Yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Then I, then I'm gonna create more diversion. Everyone, it's the wanted Dragonborn. Hey, yo! <laughs> I'm supposed to be chasing me. <laughs> Apparently, you... <laughs> they're giving rewards to everyone who catches him. Oh Instantly, <laughs> you now hear guards just whistle. And you can hear just people rushing downstairs outside the mercantile hall. Inside uh, the ground floor where you guys are, you can see several guards from the second floor start make their way downstairs, running outside. You see a handful of people make their way through and just kind of panic running outside everything's happening everything's going swellingly well okay like how i just okay clay said don't let pyro die but pyro just left me here <laughs> <laughs> that's your problem bro you that's your problem <laughs> uh, well, at least i created my diversion so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna there are a lot of guards that came out right that came out yep then i'm gonna check if the coast is clear I'm gonna slowly go inside. All right, I'll move you here. Uh, this whole broad. Put your token right here. As a handful of people start panicking and making their way outside, more and more guards make their way through as well. And you, um, Lou and Aras, both of you just see guards. You know, make their way from back here. All the way down, it's just kind of pushed past you, trying to get outside. I'm already screaming at Mr. Mr. Merchant already, by the way. The merchant instantly just kind of turns towards you. Yeah, what do you want? You're that Mr. Merchant. Something's going on outside. We need to keep whatever this is. Mr. Fox is good safe. Please, it's incredibly, incredibly important. It doesn't fall in the wrong hands. I don't got no yeah. damn key. Go ahead and go to Mer uh, go go to the goddamn shopkeeps. He just points back towards where Clay is right now. One of them probably has it. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm gonna say you there, guard. In accompany us. Did I see bread? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He got confused. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, oh? <laughs> yes, I'm wearing an armor. <laughs> Mister Pearson. An incident has happened. We need to keep whatever you're introducing safe. Why this is a problem? Uh, what's what, what 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 is the matter? Something's going on outside. Then I I stand still. I stand straight as well. I go. I stand still and stand straight. Apparently, there's a dragon bird outside that's planning to steal the goods inside of this guild. Oh, this is a problem. If uh. If, the, if they if they ever get their hands on uh, on this on this uh, this park rumble, then, then this would be a, a very big problem. With the merchant the mercantile guild must keep it in safe hands. Uh, anyone uh, over here? Um, do you have the keys uh, to the basement? Immediately, one of them back here, this one, turns towards you, stands up. I have the one key. One of the guards uh, still has items. the other one. And also, the last one is, uh... He, he kind of keeps silent. I don't think it's uh, time to be withholding information. We have an emergency in our hands. Need to go. You there. We need to keep this out and safe. Please. Come with us right now. This is of utmost importance. I cannot understate how dangerous and volatile these two powders uh, are. Then, then let us be with it. He immediately starts running off towards the door, grabbing what. Do looks we see to be any guards running down? By the way. Also, I, yeah, oh. I, I, I signal this cat. I signal to him. I'll accompany you, sir. <laughs> 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 I 
Also, Do we see a... any guards, by the way? Yeah, you like see running you, down. you see a few guards. Con yeah, almost like a small Broad stream. One. Ask who who your boss is. <laughs> uh, while they're while they're doing that, I wanna just quickly talk to the merchants. I turn to everyone like, right, uh, everyone. Um, I I suggest uh, you all leave. Uh, you may you may need to leave your your valuables if you must. Uh, this is a uh, of utmost importance. What the fuck? Oh, they're going together. Really? Yeah, you see a small stream of guards make their way down and trying to get their way out. Here's some their guards here. Uh, yes, yes, Mr. Guards, Mr. Guards. Uh, apparent, uh, may I stop you for one moment? Apparently one of you has a key to the basement. We, we need it to uh, store this dangerous powder. Almost like they're jogging in place. Um, no! Uh, Dialex has it! He already ran after that Dragonborn! Dialects. Uh, Mr. Mr. God, you there. Point to Brad. Uh, find Dialects. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you giving me? <laughs> Bro. Find Dialects. Come back to us. We'll be waiting here. Alright. Then I go here. I run around here. And then I'm gonna shout around here. Most Dialects! Most Dialects! You, uh, here. you hear no one no, responding. Wait, no. He's outside. Oh, um. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> uh, like, out of he's character. outside, dummy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, out yeah, of I'm character, back. I'm seeing uh, a PNG actually, of a town. I'm actually lagging. <laughs> I, Wait, I, you can only see PNG of I think clown, you're in. I, I think you're in. Yeah, you're in the wrong. You're in the wrong tab. You have to click the. Let me. I think Let me you see can if click I can it. fix that. No, he's on the mercantile. Fuck it. Is he here? Yeah, he's here now. My token is here, but yeah, I'm I'm still loading. Okay, then you're here then. All right. Quickly, you watch as this uh, merchant right beside you very quickly pull out that key, unlocks this one. All right, let's head down very quickly. Let's go. Right, right, right. We can't open it yet. What? I go outside. I go outside and find Mr. Dalek. All right, you run after basically for... Pharaoh. We need. We need. Uh, we need an escort. This is really important. What do you mean escort? I mean, I mean, I'm wearing a guard armor, but sure. It's fine. It's fine. We can. We can. We can handle this. Uh, uh, don't worry. I have a trick up my sleeve. Uh, let's. Let's go now. Okay then. I can't move. Right. <laughs> We're lagging. We're all lagging. <laughs> well, I'm lagging as well. right. So a whole lagging lot of well. things happening. <laughs> right. Um. Yeah. Push yourself back towards here, and you should be good. We can't trying. move right now. Yeah. We're, we're can't trying. Move. It's, it's actually We're trying lagging. so hard. <laughs> all right. Let me move you here. Whoa. Oh. 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 Huh? Oh. Oh. Not. Let me just refresh. You might. Yeah. You might <laughs> want to. I mean, yeah. What if we just refresh, right? Right. Well, like, we're doing that. We, well, while it's loading, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna well, pee. Yeah. I'm gonna pee. I, I'm, 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 yeah, we can. Darkness. We can do a quick burb. Yeah. Sure. Burb so it loads out. everything. Yeah. Okay. All right gonna die mm -hmm. well at least one of us is gonna die but You're helpers fucking die
Okay. What happened to the people in the streets? You guys disappeared. The people there are in no the streets. streets. There are no people. Uh, there are no people in the streets, guys. They're just the two. We're delusional. Right. <laughs> You're uh, gaslit right there. Before, <laughs> before anyone moves back there, uh, let's go to Aras, Blue, and Clay's group. I am not a woman, at least for now. I can't change it. Hold on. You make your way down towards what seems to be this small basement. The further and further you go, however, the more you notice that the entire room opens up to this cavernous, very wide room that has a large metal door right where you can see Aris and um, Lou. You see this, but Clay, it is <laughs> somewhat dark for you. Still, there are a few lights here and there. Um, I guess as light? we are heading down, I cast light on myself. As we're heading down the staircase, knowing that um, it's getting darker. All right. Oh, it's getting there. Nice. I guess on my cloak or my clothes, so I'm glowing right now. Oh my, that is bright. Instantly as you do that, you watch as the shopkeeper right beside you just kind of turn and almost pause. Uh, your Mr. Mr. Pearson here, you have hired a few very um, handy fellow. Indeed I have. And now let us open the let us open the vault, shall we? At least uh, show me how uh, how to, where you put your keys. You watch him quickly move towards this right hand uh, kind of lock and instantly he just grabs his key, turns it once and then the drop, uh, the lock falls onto the floor just there. Uh, we're going to need the other two keys. Unfortunately, one is with a guard and the other with, um, I believe it was you. Ah, uh, it seems I have misplaced it. And of all these times too, oh, this is this is a problem. Well, at least I can show you a hidden talent of mine, and I bring out my thieves tools. <laughs> <laughs> you just like so not a word of <laughs> not a word of this to anyone, of course. This is a trade secret between merchants. Yes. He looks at you. Go ahead and make a deception roll. And while he's doing that, I, I motion to Aris on, like, um, doing something to the, this guy. But I, I, I do it with my eyes wide open as if to say, don't murder him. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, can I do a reaction? If I, if I hear him pulling his bow, I will block it with my, with my body. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> You just stand sure. in the way, just like, get down, Mr. Yeah. President. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just to be sure, you know. I got that riz, bro. If you would stand here, please. He looks at you. Um, Clay, he looks at you with this squint. I'm not sure that I've seen you around with any thieves' tools. I did not peg you for a thief. Pearson. You think these Aris. are thieves' tools? Aris? Is Aris here? <laughs> Aris is here. No, Aris is not in the call. He left. <laughs> oh, he's gone. These are not I, thieves I guess I touched that. I motion to... A, th a set of thieves' tools is only a set of thieves' tools if used by a thief, and you pegged me for one. But that is besides the point. Uh, it is more important that we uh, get to this vault. Yes. And I walk over. Uh, may you point to me where the guard's uh, keyhole is? Is Aris going to do anything? Oh my god! He actually I does it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> uh, 
that was me. <laughs> oh, phew. Okay, um, I guess I, I, the moment he does that, I do a sigh. I know the guy's like freaked out right now. And I use the, I use my spell scroll to put him to sleep. All right, uh, you quickly pull out your sleep scroll. Go ahead and cast that very quickly. Let me see what it needs. Save DC 13. All right. God damn. What, what is that? You read? What? 13, what? No, that's the HP, uh, the sleep yeah. oh, okay. removes. Uh, where's, where's, what is that? Where's Jao? Spellcasting ability DC 11. He disconnected. Oh, what's your spellcasting ability, uh, Lou? My spellcasting ability. You're a wizard, it's right? Wizard, right? It's, wizard. it's in intelligence, yeah. How do we check? Yeah, 13. Spell DC 13. Oh yeah, no, not even close. You watch as you pull out that scroll and almost instantly, the scroll in your hand just <laughs> erupts into flames and disappears. Meanwhile, you watch this guy in front of you shake his head, then onto the floor, sleeping, unconscious. Oh, invisible. Nighty oh. Night, Wait, uh, the fuck you are. Hey, uh, While that's going on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag him over here as that's happening i'm going to do my lock picking technique i will before you do will that actually before you do that before you do that before you do that i cast the guidance on you hmm. um may i bargain uh to say that i have advantage by examining the key of the merchant and figuring out the mechanism based on the shape of the key um the, you look at the mechanism of the the one that the merchant did and since it was already opened you looked at it it's a very simple six pin lock okay so i guess it's not, not something i haven't seen before and then i pull out my keys while i'm pulling out the the thief's tools i'm like talking to myself this is the lock picking uh change ring <laughs> and then this is the lock picking check on four <laughs> none of three <laughs> like listen tool. carefully and so the tools I'm using today are the. Uh... <laughs> you can buy it from finding. our website. <laughs> <laughs> Covert and instruments. If you want, and if you want more uh, cha uh, lock picking change, link, change link. click subscribe. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the uh, channel. Follow me on TikTok and other in and my Instagram. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll me that thieves tools. That's just dexterity check. Okay, and with I guidance. You get a plus four, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my yeah. god! No, no, no. <laughs> Tw no. That's twenty nine with the guidance because it's max. Is it and okay if I don't use it? No, yeah, you can. You can yeah, choose you not can, to use the guidance. You can decide not to use it. I will it. not use it. I will not use it. You. You don't need guidance. You, the lock picking no. lawyer is the guidance. <laughs> you start doing the lock picking lawyer, and you just like instantly, everything binds, <laughs> everything clicks, <laughs> the entire lock falls down to the floor. That's two locks gone. I move on to the third one, and I can I roll again. Yeah, roll or, again. Okay, I will use guidance this time for sure because like there's no way I roll crit uh, crit twice. Woo! So no need. No twenty six. Twenty six with the guidance. Yes. Yeah. Without the guidance, that would have broke. But with the guidance. Ooh. You oh, pull out that shit. key, wow. you start pulling through, and you see as Lou is like, <laughs> casting some magic on you, and you feel your hands get more and more agile. Very quickly, you pull up those pins, and then everything's wide open. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice save. Alright, let me look for traps real quick, and uh, oh Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this? As you slowly move in, wait a fucking minute. Towards mm. the other side, you see a tiefling smugly waiting for you. What is a fucking test? I scream. <laughs> um, it's ah. the grifter. Uh, it took you very, very long. And here I was thinking that I'd be here a few more hours. Thankfully what do you mean? You it's like arrived. in the morning. I arrived here way earlier. Very easy to grab this. You watch him pull out that shard that he was 
that he hired you for. He, that, he then looks down towards this whole pile of gold. And your payment is right here. I, I, thanks and, and all, but like, why'd you hire us in the first place? What's the point? Well, you see, getting in and getting out is my specialty. But unfortunately, I need someone to scapegoat my scape. And the city already knows that the grifter was here. Perhaps if the city begins to think that the grifter was not part of this excursion. And instead the grifter disappears. And four, no, was it five? Five new folk from outside the city steal gold from inside the mercantile guild. A perfect display to show the world that I was not part of this and that you are to blame. Right, okay, and, uh, all uh, right, uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, what do you think, fellas? Uh, do you think we got, uh, we got bamboozled? Or you think it was a good deal? Can we pay you to get us out? He I looks at you grifter. with a smile. If I needed gold, then I would have taken from this pile. Fortunately, I already have enough, and my payment is along with this. He points uh, the, again once the gold. Uh, before, before you leave, because you're probably going to leave any minute now, right? A couple of questions. Uh, number one, are those guards going to kill us? Perhaps. Point to the... Uh, and number two, do, you, do they have a bag of holding? We can't really carry the gold ourselves, you know. As a sign of good fate, here you go. He pulls out a bag of holding, or some kind of bag, you're not sure. Shit. <laughs> Drops it on the floor right here. You know what? Uh, for double crossing us, you're a pretty decent guy. If we're going to make it out of life, you know, because we're kind, we kind, we're kind of good like that. So uh, uh, we'll see in the future. You better be, you better be ready. Word. But do not that the heroes are coming here. As he says that, poof, disappears. All right, we got uh, we got like uh, I don't know how many minutes, but uh, uh, real quick, Mister Mister Luke, can you take a look at these uh, these robots? Do they have any magic in them? You think you could uh, stop them before they start running? You know. Um. Okay. I cast uh, this. Uh. Ooh, I can see them all. Damn. All right. Um, you are flooded with magic. As soon as you start casting that spell, through your eyes, your ears, your nose, you smell all everything. Just magic pouring through. This entire room seems to be filled with magical items. And these large, let's say, constructs are standing there waiting for something to happen. You don't know how they will activate, but you do know they're filled to the brim with magic. Alright, um, one more. I'll cast one more spell before we actually head in. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> what's wow. the purpose of me wow. now, bro? I'm useless. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Alright, um, how far does that go? Within line of sight. 120 feet. A trap of resistance spell. All right, you notice that that entire gold pile there is standing atop several pressure pads. Even a single one that gets removed from that pile might activate this four here. What four? You can move in if you want. Uh. Yeah, oh. we're safe. <laughs> they only Four. activate through gold, through taking the gold. So. All right, I trust your word. Now, before we do anything, I think it's we it's a good idea to inspect the robots, because. Uh... Um. So, Clay, I've been asking. How potent must each powder be, before, it destroys this entire place. Uh, I, a grin forms on my face. I see where you're going with this. Alright. Two 
grains, all right? One grain from, from the, the black steel, one grain from the mana steel. You put them together, boom, an entire room destroyed. So my, my idea is maybe one, two grains on each side and then blow them up with your mage hand and then we can walk in, you know, scot-free. How about that? That's true. Yes, we can try that. But the problem is, if we blow up any of the pillars that are holding up the, the floor above us, we might all fucking, you know, die, so... Uh, it's a little uh, iffy, but... You know, it's a vault room. There's no way that's gonna happen, right? <laughs> uh, you did mention about heading to the sewers, I'm correct? That's right. Do you think there's a wall here that could lead back to the sewers? You know what? Let me pull out my notes. I pull out the, the map that <laughs> you Look over. Okay. Is there any mention wonder, of the basement? You know, while we're stalking here, I've just always been wondering what the hell is a brood in Pharaoh to me? It's a fucking like a. I'm kind of worried. Like, are they dead? <laughs> <laughs> no, alright. We'll, we'll move to them in a quick moment. Okay. Alright, so, so what do you uh, see? we're gonna blow the. We're gonna blow it up. And uh, we're gonna then uh, get the gold. Hopefully everything goes goes well and uh, they both they all blow up. All right, but uh, what happens if we don't blow them up and they start uh, acting on all violent stuff? We still have some dynamite left. Do you have any spells to to move around, get invisible, you know all that stuff? Yes, I do. I have invisibility. All right. What I want you to do is you stand at the entrance, and if you see these these things uh, react, I'm gonna run in. Distract them. Wait, no, invisibility is a touch spell, isn't it? Yes, it is. And that's gonna be a problem. All right, then you cast invisibility on me, and I'm gonna steal the gold while all of you is uh, gets out of the basement, and I'll follow suit. Um, okay. Don't that's worry, I'm not gonna run with the gold. Maybe, um, but you know. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll know where to find you if you do actually get out. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Now is not the time for threats. We gotta, we gotta, you know, blow these things up. All right, uh, All right. here's the powders. Uh, and I hold the two pouches on both hands. Very careful not to have a single grain touch each other. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, I'll move out because we're gonna have your mage hand do the thing, so. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, Mr. Rarus, you might wanna step aside. Mr. Ramos. <laughs> no, <clip>. no clips. <laughs> no clips through the phone. <laughs> yep. Alright, I cast my mage hand. It is now working. Can you cast that spell real quick? I, I want to see if it can actually do okay. stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Yeah. Manipulate an object. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Stole sure. or retrieve an item from an open container, pour the contents of a vial. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, so you want to put the one speck of the black steel first, one here. Before that, here. I want to try something first. And I see if my mage hand can reacts if ever it moves close to any of the golems. Your mage hand flies over towards the golems and it just kind of hovers there. Okay. Smart thinking, smart thinking. Place it on the mage hand, and I'll place it carefully. One specky, and one specky. Okay. I place a speck here, and I place another speck here. Alright. Two small specks of witch powder. Black steel, first, ideally. Alright. Black steel powders set left and right. All right, time for the fireworks. Here's the here's the here's the man of steel. One spec only. Put the first one right here. I'll uh, get ready to cover your ears. Okay. You want me to cast invisibility now? Hmm. You know what? As a precaution, good idea. All right. Here we go. Uh, so my mage hand isn't isn't uh, concentration, so I can cast invisibility. But this time it is concentration. I cast invisibility on. Okay. Uh, you know what? We might want to stand back. I'm not really sure how big the explosion is. I've never seen it in person, so. <laughs> I have to move. I have to move the hands first. So well, uh, I'm small enough. Get... You can just dodge. 
you know away what? from speed. And now I place one here and I see do my best to quickly place the other powder on the other side. And I move. The entire mercantile guild explodes, everyone dies the end. <laughs> we all die. <laughs> Your mage hand slowly floats, grabbing a speck of mana steel. Once it drops yep. down to that black steel, instantly just massive explosion. Uh. And with that, let me just pull this down. Get, There's gonna be like a siren. Onk. Ah. Ah. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Unauthorized. Do not resist. You are activated. <laughs> Do not resist. You are being brought to safety. <laughs> Is that a Star Wars reference? What's that weird pendling thing? Thing that that's not Star Wars. What are you? It are is. You it's Star Wars. What's, it's what's Star, Wars? It Star Wars. It's Star Wars. Yeah. Do not resist. Was... You're being led to safety. It's Do Star not Wars. resist. Yeah, it's Star Wars. You're being rescued. Actually, not being led to safety. Oh, I'm thinking of number one. Oh, la mal. <laughs> oh, congratulations! You are being rescued. Please do not Please resist. Do not resist. I was thinking of another one. Think of it. Right, let me see how far this explosion. Oh shit. Stupid. <laughs> 120 feet radius. Oh my god. And then everyone dies. <laughs> yep, we're all dead. Fucking dude. Seinfeld theme plays. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Oh, okay. We're, we're last... in cover, by the way, guys. Yeah, you're, you're in cover. Blasting yeah. off again. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yo, please. I was, I was not supposed to be here. No. no. <laughs> Where are you supposed to be? You're supposed to be here, right? I'm supposed to be hiding, yeah. Soon as that uh, mana steel powder drops, you hear this massive explosion just poof, and instantly poof, 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 and you can hear breaking of walls, things falling down, you hear oh smaller God. pieces of metal fly into the the wall right behind you. And as soon as that explosion ends, you notice that your other hand, uh, your magical hand that was carrying that other speck has disappeared. Yeah. There's nothing left of this entire left side room. Instead, there's a massive hole there. And where that hole leads down to seems to be towards the sewer. But also, oh. it has broken through a bit under the sewer. And you can see a large cavernous hole. From that, you just hear... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're on a timer, we're on a timer. We've done... Uh, we, we've, we've, we've fucked up. Let's, 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 uh, let's blow this before up. That, before that, before that, before you grab anything, let me light this up first. Yeah, 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 no, no the blows up too. But we gotta, we gotta act fast. Uh, people upstairs. I lost uh, the powder, but I think something can work. I still have the dynamite left. No, 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 no. Uh, but, but, but uh, the, the dynamite might not be enough. Doesn't matter. If they're ever incapacitated, if I ever lose a leg, it'd be better for you. For you us. know, you're pretty selfless for a fucking criminal. Anyway, you go ahead. Fine. And so, I still see the powder here, right? Yep, there's still like... that powder there. It's black okay. steel, not mana steel, so it's not combustible by itself. Oh wait, no, it kind of is actually right, because mana uh, black steel is is flammable. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Okay. And then you might I cast... use your mage hand for that. No, there's no time. I'm gonna cast Presti on the three dynamite that I have, and I place it like on top of the 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 and thing. Columns. Yeah, where the where the steel was, and then I run back. As fast as I can. <laughs> Little oh. legs wobbling. <laughs> yep. You run back, and you watch as the fuse starts going lit, going down, and it explodes. Not as big as the last one, but still enough to level a small kind of hole down in that area. Let me just mark that out. Just about 15 feet. 
with that single speck and a bit of dynamite that explodes and you watch as these things are broken but come to life the three of you oh, roll no. initiative okay uh oh, technically two of i you. don't think technically yeah, two, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh just roll it for now how do we roll initiative? Uh, you right-click uh, you your, your character, character and then go into combat oh, right, mode. Yeah. The sword. You have to click the sword. Unholy iron golem. Splendid iron golem. So there's a really... Oh, oh, I accidentally splendid. rolled for you. Hold on. I can want let, me, let me clear your initiative. You can do that now. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I add my charisma modifier to this because oh. I have... Uh, I have what do you call this? Swashbuckler. Do I have to roll again? I have to roll again, right? Yeah, just uh, click the roll. I don't know it's how to automate that area. actually. My my charisma, by the way, is uh, plus two. I'm clicking on combat state. It's not changing. It's, so not, no, it's, it's, in, a, it's in the combat encounters tab in the top right now. I don't know how to automate this, but I have. Oh, here, yeah, yeah, yeah here. Initiative. Okay. There. Did you roll yours, Ooh. Clay? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I yeah, mine's that. yeah. So it's nineteen plus three. It's twenty-two. I can change that. So okay, but it's gonna be every encounter. Uh, hopefully, you, I don't know. I don't know how to That's find fine. a way to automate it. Okay. Right. Before we move to that, because Aras is not here, uh, I'm gonna make him do that next time. Meanwhile, on the streets, as a way to basically end <laughs> this session. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Up. <laughs> oh yeah, push this first, through. first order of business, I'm fucking booking it and grabbing the bag of holding to scoop as much shit as possible. I'll have you guys handle it. <laughs> oh, Brud and Pharaoh, the two of you are running down this entire alleyway, trying to make sure, Pharaoh, that you're not dead, and Brud trying to look for a man named Gylex still. <laughs> Even when, though he doesn't need to anymore. <laughs> don't know. When, when, I, when, I don't know, yeah. from okay. behind you, you just hear this massive poof, and you can hear uh, you see smoke start to pile up instantly the entire group here comes to a halt turns oh, around oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> turns around sees that whole piling smoke going upwards pharaoh you still continue to run or do you look back definitely i'm gonna keep running i'm gonna run out of sight you continue to run, and this entire group just sees fire in the mercantile roof. When, Pharaoh, you see up ahead of you a wagon and a horse running straight towards you. And on the back of it, you see Cedric just shouting, HOP ON! <laughs> <laughs> Cedric Clutch. With that, I will. We end our session here. <laughs> Damn! Oh god, it's good clutch. Dude, run a fucking timer, bro. If we don't finish it fast enough, fucking Aldrin and Sarah are gonna beat our asses. We gotta go. Yeah, they are. <laughs> With that okay. as well, that yeah, is okay, okay. a level up. Okay. Oh, Aldrin? level up? Yes. We don't, we don't gain our spell slots back, though, You don't though, gain right? your spell slots back, but you are leveled up. Yo, Lou, the fucking high, high stakes action Lou and Clay. stronger. Lou and Clay. And Clay are having the time of their lives in the heist. Pyro is running away from authorities, and I am the authority. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're basically with these guards here, and they don't think anything about you. You just see this smoke rising up. So yeah. They turn to you and like, what are you doing? In. After him! <laughs> you point back to him. Yeah, I'm Yo. planning to do that. I'm planning to do that. <laughs> I was about to say that, but Cass said it's the end, so I'm just gonna... Aww. I'm gonna say that next time. I'm gonna say that next time. Hey, yeah, next time, next time. That. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can actually find that. Uh, Woo, that thing. I'm gonna roll. Oh, Whoa, What's my level four? Actually? Captain, it's running away. <laughs> that, that's my one and only roll this session. At, at, A three. At this, yeah, I haven't rolled it actually in this. Well, I was expecting Clay, uh, what's his name, Clay, uh, Pharaoh oh, no, a really one, difficult combat because we just had him fight the entire, like, fucking armada of troops. <laughs> it was going to be. That's a level uh, up, right? Dude, uh, the yes, entire that's session a level up. changed because I fucking rolled high on two of my lockpicks. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I said I, it was impossible, and you know what the, the markers were? For the middle one, it was 30. Oh, oh and you got it. You got it. A, you got a crit. 
for the left one it was 26 i think and for the right one that was just instant pick Wait, so for the so I got twenty seven on that too, so like I barely I barely got like both of them. Yeah, the left one is twenty six, the middle is thirty, so it's impossible. The right oh, one oh. What was that? I don't see that, so nah, man. Uh the that's one on the right a, was easy pick. That was a fifteen. Yeah. That is uh that is that is why Guidance clutch. Yep, guidance actually yeah. helped us. He there. he got that crit oh. on guidance. Rip. Rip H. Oh, and I got a high roll too. Let's go. I'm high rolling today. High roll twice. I should, I should, I should oh, oh. gamble. <laughs> <Yo>? <laughs> no. All right. Yes. Hello. hello. What's the first one okay. I rolled? Four. I got a 